Wordsworth had been born in the Lake District and returned in December 1799, when he himself was 29, to live at Dove Cottage, Grasmere. Coleridge came from Devonshire in the West Country and was two years younger. In the summer of 1800, he brought his family north to Keswick, 13 miles from Grasmere, to live with his brother-in-law, Robert Southey. For Wordsworth, returning to the lakes was a moment of rediscovery. Once on the brow of yonder hill, I stopped while I was yet a schoolboy. At what age I cannot well remember, but the hour I well remember, though the year be gone. And with a sudden influx overcome at sight of this seclusion, I forgot my haste. For hasty had my footsteps been, as boyish my pursuits. And sighing said, What happy fortune were it here to live. And if I thought of dying, If a thought of mortal separation Could come in with paradise before me, Here to die. What happy fortune were it here to live, And if I thought of dying, if a thought of mortal separation could come in with paradise before me, here to die. Home at Grasmere, 1800. William Wordsworth is recollecting a boyhood incident and he must have felt like Moses looking down from Mount Pisgah into the promised land but unable to enter. The schoolboy Wordsworth looked down, he knew that it was paradise, not only because it is evidently beautiful but because this was the moment when the 18th century was waking up to the fact that here in Grasmere they had the equivalent to paradise. Wordsworth, aged 29, was able to fulfill his dream. He was to come to Dove Cottage, it was his golden decade of writing, and here he was to write some of the most enduring poetry in English literature. It is a beauteous evening, calm and free. The holy time is quiet as a nun, breathless with adoration. There was a boy, ye knew him well, ye cliffs and islands of Winander. Many a time at evening, when the stars had just begun to move along the edges of the hills, rising or setting, would he stand alone? I wandered lonely as a cloud, that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, along the lake, beneath the trees, 10,000 dancing in the breeze. So Wordsworth fulfills his dream of coming to Grasmere in 1799. He comes with his sister Dorothy He'd been here before, down this road with Dorothy in 1794, because they were walking to Keswick, where they were going to set up house for just a month at Windy Brow. Words that had come again in 1799, November, with Coleridge, with his brother John. And there they meet Mr. Benson, the landlord, who has the dove and olive for rent for the princely sum of eight pounds a year. Wordsworth made the decision to come to Grasmere when he was on the banks of Oldswater after Coleridge and John have left him. He describes himself lying in an oak grove and he says that the earth balanced me else lost entirely. And in that poised position, he makes the great decision that he will come to Grasmere and there he will write a great work which would become known as the recluse and there he would live and test the paradise which he had conceived of as a boy. On the ground I lay, passing through many thoughts, yet mainly such as to myself pertained. I made a choice of one sweet vale whither my steps should turn, and so methought the very house and fields present before my eyes. Nor did I fail to add, meanwhile, assurance of some work of glory there forthwith to be begun, 
perhaps two there performed. 